Elden Ring Forest and the people who know the secrets locked inside. These forest people have tapped its deepest mysteries. From plants, they cure their own infections and heal their wounds. New explorer Dr. Mark Plotkin is at a race against time, with acres of rainforest destroyed every minute. He seeks to discover how Amazonian plants can help solve the mystery of disease. Also in this episode of The New Explorers, thousands of miles away in a very different forest. Scientists working hard to rescue a beloved species of bird threatened with extinction. A national symbol of victory, the fiercely independent bald eagle. Its survival may depend upon our new explorers. A cycle of reproduction once doomed now has a fighting wow. chance this time on The New Explorers. The forest people use everything to survive. Cane as light as air for their arrows, tipped on one end with feathers to aerodynamically guide the shaft to its target. And when it gets there, a variety of tips for killing. A large, sharp one for big game. A smaller one for birds. This one is for fish, and this one is for larger fish. And this one is special. The point will be tipped with Karari poison. Usually several poisonous plants mixed together to strengthen their effectiveness, and it is so deadly they don't dare risk scratching themselves, so they carry the point separately. The poison will last three months, and no self-respecting shaman will ever reveal its mixture. If forest people can mix as many as 12 different plants to make karari, what other secrets do they know about the plants of the rainforest? That's why our new explorer keeps going back to the rainforest before the shaman are gone. We're flying over some of the finest untouched rainforest in the world, in Suriname, formerly Dutch Guyana, South America. In two and a half hours, we haven't seen a single road. The scene below hasn't changed for tens of millions of years. That's why there are so many different species of plants here. Very little has interrupted the natural evolutionary cycle. That's the village of Kwamala Samoto, where we'll find Dr. Mark Plotkin, an ethnobotanist who has been here for more than a month, living with the Indians, to learn which plants in the rainforest they use for medicine. We were told most planes would not land here. It's a little late to find out why. The dirt strip bends over the top of a hill, and the pilot has to drop down on it without catching the trees. It's clear missionaries have introduced Western clothes for some of the Indians, but their lives have changed very little in most other ways. The men hunt most of the day. The women seem to do all the hard work, preparing cassava bread, the main item in their diet. It's a remarkable setting like living on the edge of Eden. But mornings come quickly at 4 a.m. As executive director of the ethnobiology and conservation team, Mark has been visiting this village for over 15 years. 